Bremen, great North Sea port and city of 350,000 people, fell to British infantrymen. A terrific opening attack put pay to any German hopes of holding on to the town's vital docks and U-boat construction yards. Naval officers and police chiefs who were in charge of the defence come in to surrender. General Horrocks, commanding the 30th Corps, personally congratulates the men of the British 52nd Division inside captured Bremen. Marching men, once a sight that delighted every war-crazy German. They're still marching, but this time to surrender. They used to come in in ones and twos. Now it's the whole bunch from the Colonel down. Civilians are on the march in Germany also. These men are ordered to give Christian burial to the starved and broken bodies of slave workers and political prisoners who died in infamous concentration camps. Not many months ago, Berlin civilians herded into the Volkssturm for a do-or-die effort. Now their city has fallen and its defenders have surrendered. Red Army men may at this moment be walking through these very streets where Goebbels so recently reviewed the Volkssturm. Reports say that Goebbels committed suicide with his Führer. His brother, Hans Goebbels, was the next of the breed to be gobbled up by the advancing Allies. A major general in the stormtroopers, Hans bears a striking resemblance to his late and unlamented brother. As the Nazi hierarchy falls apart, Himmler is said to be trying hard to arrange surrender terms for what is left of the German army. As for the beast of Berlin, first attempts to kid the world that he died like a hero of misfire. Never again will he parade through the streets of Berlin. For the future, we must be sure that no new German dictator rises up to assume the moth-eaten mantle of Adolf Schickelgruber, dealer in death and lies. meine Jugend, dass vor wenige Wochen bei uns wohl zum ersten Mal seit es eine Völkergeschichte gibt, 99% eines Volkes sich zu... After news of Hitler's death, the world learned that his successor was not Himmler, but Dönitz. Tight-lipped England hater, a tough fighter but a dud admiral, his Führership is likely to fizzle out as ignominiously as his threatened U-boat offensive. These are the top men. Let them perish without remembrance with the foul symbol of their rule.